Hello, my name is Tom Pagacz and in this video I will show you how you can perform ETL actions on CSV file with using power apps, power automate and basically that's all. So let's start from GitHub and here you will be able to download ETL on CSV that contain process map, solution package and CSV file that will be subject of ETL process in here. So let's go for a moment to the process map. So uh, in this solution I try to resolve problem from Discord group that one company needs to upload file then extract content of this file, this is tabular content, and then send it back to application uh, to allow user to modify this table and um, make actions against, for example, price list. But those are out of scope. Mm. So I figured out that it may be done within attachment of course, uh, you can upload this to many data sources. I choose uh, OneDrive because uh, CSV file have one advantage on OneDrive that once you upload it and then try to get content file of CSV particular from OneDrive, mm, this won't be base64 as in SharePoint or Dataverse, it will be plain table, so we don't need to perform any other actions later on. That is why OneDrive, but of course you can use any other, any different data source. Once uh, the content of the file is extracted, it can be split and parsed in the flow and then easily sent back to the same session of uh, power up application so then it can be used uh, as expected so let's get back to solution itself within solution you will be able to find canvas app three flows and one dataverse table that will be used in the future uh, to show different uh, data sources in here it won't be used only connection to OneDrive. Okay, so in OneDrive there are only three files in here. Um, I will explain later on. And here we have bulk upload file, so once invoked um, function will create file in OneDrive for up to 10 files in here. Then we have this OneDrive get root children. So in here we have a flow once invoked it will ask graph API to children elements for root OneDrive and send back this information to to application. In application we have a we have a filter on this data that we will show only records that child count is not blank child count is property under folder property that is counting how many elements are inside the, um, the element so it point out straight that this element if have zero or more elements like child count um, it must be a folder so that is why I'm able to filter out files and things that are not folders, so basically files. And the last flow which is in here is parse CSV, but 
let's get back to application itself and start uh, uh, with uploading files. So we will upload this configuration file in here and we will try to extract folders that are present in our OneDrive. As you saw previously, there are no. So let's create a new folder in here, uh, etl create. Once we have it, we can try to ask for this folder. Okay, it's working, perfect. Uh, so let's select this etl and let's upload this file to etl folder. I hope it will be there. Okay, it is, it's working, perfect. And then uh, once everything is done, we can click on parse CSV and get the content of, oh, I need to make myself smaller. Okay, perfect. Um, we, can, we can have it uh, in here to select or deselect items from the, from the list so everything is fulfilled. So let's see, um, this is upload, this is ask to OneDrive for uh, files and folders and in here child, yes, folder, child count zero and path its drive root ID and display name for this is ETL. So this um, is all good, I hope. And then we have this last function that is parse CSV, last one. And here we have um, path for the get file content using path. As I, as I told you previously, file content, it, it won't be binary 64, like for SharePoint or Dataverse, it is plain table um, for CSV that we can straight away compose new line that we will be using later on in compose split on new line to prepare the out of this file content, we prepare array and then we want to compose, we want to know um, columns for this. So we need to compose this uh, array of, of columns. Then we have a selection to create actual table that can be later on sent back to power apps. So let's click on edit to see this compose. This is simple split on outputs from get file content using path and split is with compose new line. So basically here we have a, sorry, a enter only nothing else. Uh, split on columns uh, we are using also first for this split on new line. So for the first row we will um, compose this and select. For select we need to skip from compose split on new line. We will split headers um, so columns name and map is outputs. We are starting from zero, counting from zero. Um, and then we have a split on item and basically the only last number change in, in the row. So with this, you can you can compose the table and then send it back to um, to application. So 
That's all. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and I wish you a great day. See you in the next video.